<clears throat> all right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha, Bahashem, Kapadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples for his younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations, and hopefully they got there pushing his word and truth. And it's a series across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha. Pushing to get up out of here. Shalom one for the whole flag the believers, the listeners who have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you. How about Shemel Shai? I want to go into a lesson, you know, entitled All for Nothing. You know, All for Nothing. And it's speaking about the so called success, okay, the riches, the wealth, the status. Oh, so like you, the clout of this world, you know, it's all for nothing, man. You know, and the scriptures go into these things, you know, so I want to. Get a few precepts, you know, and expound on that point on how, you know, what we see as success and clout and status and so-called legacies of this world. It was all for nothing, you know, and it's going to be shown in the time of judgment. All right. And it's not going to have any weight. OK. In the kingdom. OK. This is a uh, Sirach 40 and 12. It says all bribery. And injustice shall be blotted out, but true dealing shall endure forever. Okay, so all bribery and injustice shall be blotted out. And we know this whole society is built off a scheme, you know, beginning with Esau, Edom, okay, down to, you know, these nigga celebrities, okay, or our people who just giving themselves fully into this world, all right. To, 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 to climb, all right, the, the, you know, the ladder, the, 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 the ladder of, of success, okay? It's going to be all for naught, okay? But this whole system is based off, off, off corruption and injustice, man. You know, and it's going to be blotted out, you know? So all, all right, the achievements that you have in this world is going to be blotted out with this world. The Lord is going to erase Esau kingdom off the earth. Okay, so all the let's like say the achievements of this society will not be remembered. Okay, just like now, you don't remember who was the best poet. Okay, in in, in Rome. Okay, or who the best actors were in Rome? They're not even they're not important, because the only thing that really matters is the only thing that's going to matter in the kingdom is what was done. All right. To help establish this kingdom. You know. Dunking the basketball. That's not going to be uh, something of high reverence. Like it is in this kingdom. When we get into the kingdom. Okay. Running 100 meters real fast. Okay. That has nothing to do with the establishment of a righteous kingdom. So that's not going to be anything of, of any reverence. Okay. Keep reading it says. The goods of the unjust shall be dried up. Like a river and shall vanish with noise. With the, those are going to be the nukes, man. Like a great thunder. Okay. Like a great thunder in rain. Okay. So the scripture is letting us know that the goods of the unjust shall be dried up, man. All the trillions and billions of dollars that this man has and all the resources and all the lands and the wealth and the things that this man has stored up. Okay, it's going to be dried up. It's going to be transferred, all right, to the, the, the true riches that he has, the gold, okay, the land, the resources. That's going to be transferred unto Israel, man, under Yehoshua, okay? His riches are going to be dried up, okay? And Esau is going to go into extreme poverty. Like, hey, hey the poverty Esau got coming is a new type of poverty. And this man done invested all this time, all these centuries and you know, resources. and Because he's throwing everything at this NWO. You know? At this, at, this, at this new global order that he wants to establish in the earth. He's throwing everything at it, man. Okay? But it's going to dry up. Okay? <laughs> and the Lord's going to drain, you know, his coffers, man. Okay? So let's go from there. All right, this uh, right in the next chapter, Sirach 41 and 8, it said, woe, and be, woe be unto you, ungodly men, which have forsaken the law of the Most High. For if ye increase, 
it shall be to your destruction. Okay? Woe, which is a destruction, until you ungodly men. So if you do increase, it's for your destruction. Okay? The Lord wants, you know, uh, uh, he won the first beginning with Esau. He wanted Esau to get these resources and riches and become proud. Okay? And become just super wicked. He wanted niggas. Okay? All right, these celebrities, as you can see, you know, they're, they're being put to shame. Okay? All them albums and mixtapes and achievements and music videos and, you know, being, you know, being looked at as an icon. You know, the Lord allowed, all right, our people, some of our people to reach their status so they will be proud. Said he, hey, he said a lot of our people are for failure. You know, and, and money is a, is a, is a way is a, because money can be a, a a trap, as it says in uh. You know, so he allowed certain certain of our people to reach a certain level with money and clout and status, but it was for their destruction, man. Okay, it was for the it was is to rise up their pride in them, man. Okay. Let's go, um, let's see, 1 Timothy 6, okay, 1 Timothy 6, all right, and 7 said, for we bought nothing in this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out, and having food and raiment, let us be there with content, okay, so, going back to, you know, um, the lesson I did early being content with simple living. And now we see that we're in a far better position than our people. They got millions, you know, a few of them supposedly got billions of dollars or whatever, you know, that they, they, they're idolized, you know. And we used to worship, all right, these celebrities, man. We, we used to idolize these celebrities, mimic these celebrities, man. Okay? But now we see why the Lord prevented us from reaching certain levels and certain status in this society, man. Okay? Because, hey, this money, as you keep reading, you know, it says, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and they snare. Okay? And hurtful lust which drown men into destruction and perdition. So, you know, and money, especially in this society, can be dangerous, man. Especially when you have no discipline over the flesh. And you see, you know, within nigga culture, discipline is non-existence. Okay, so you see these, these niggas get this money, okay, and destroy themselves, man. Okay, they jump in the fast lanes to destroy themselves, man. Look at the abominable acts that they got to do. Okay, look at the, 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 the mindset that this money has them in, man. They delusional. Okay, as if they got some type of power, as if they some type of guy, you know, niggas call themselves Hova and all these different things. Like niggas really think, you know, that they, 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 you know, they idols, man. They're their true icons, man. Okay? And it's for their destruction. Even Jake and Israel, Jake, you know, these certain leaders that get this money, you see they move like they idols, man. You know? You see how it's ruining, it's destroying their character, man. It's destroying how they move. Okay, but what we're going to find out is all for nothing, man. All this clout that you got on YouTube, you know, YouTube celebrities and all these people cheering you on and, you know, <laughs> all your cheerleaders and fanboys you got, all this going to be for nothing, man. It's not going to amount to anything. Okay? Let's go from there, because at the end of the day, we understand we in this society, all right? But this society shouldn't be our everything, man. We got to make moves. We got to do what we got to do, okay? Every brother got different, you know, occupations and, you know, different uh, obligations in this society, maintaining, you know, our situation so we can, you know, do, all right, a, our first love, which is this work, you know, First Corinthians. 7 and 31, it says, And they that use this world is not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. Yeah, so we use this society, 
You know, we got to do what we got to do. And then we can, you know, put a play together, you know, that doesn't affect, you know, our obligations to the ministry. You know, hey, put, put a play together. Make a move. Okay? But this isn't not everything, man. Okay? We, it's not all about to come up, all right, for us, man. You know? When I say the Lord give us our daily bread. You know, and then and, and our simple pleasures, man, and everything else is extra, man. However it come. Okay? He read uh so I wanna get this word the manners. You know? Ain't gonna be no let me see, uh the fashion. So I meant to say the fashion of this word, which is kama in the Greek. And it says a a habitus is comprising everything in a person which strikes the sense, the figure, the bearing, the discourse, the actions, the manner of life, etc. The manner of life, etc. Man. Okay. So it ain't gonna be no uh NBA Hall of Fame in the kingdom, man. That that clout is not gonna transfer to the king. Okay. People's net worth and, 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 and this paper money not going to transfer to the kingdom. Your views not going to transfer to the kingdom. All you YouTube influencers, all that's not going to transfer to the kingdom, man. All that's going to be destroyed here, okay? Those things are not even going to be worthy to be talked about in the kingdom, man. All these achievements in this man's kingdom. It's going to be blotted out, okay? It's going to be about those men. Okay, that they, they fought, all right, and stood stiffly for the names of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay, in aiding Yahweh Shai establish, okay, a, a righteous kingdom in the earth, man. You know, that we, 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 this is, this is far above what we're doing. You know, this is far above. We're going to be living legends forever, man, if we endure. Okay, if we endure this thing. All the way through, we're going to be living legends, uh, brothers. <laughs> okay? Eternally, man. In righteousness. Okay? In things that matter. In things that entail for life. Okay? You gonna, it's, gonna, you, it's gonna be known that, hey, this brother is a reason why family has been restored in the earth. Why the earth is giving back its nutrients, its strength. While order has been established in the earth. While there is no more alphabet all right, communities in the earth. Okay? There's no more false gods being worshipped in the earth. This, 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 these brothers had a part in it. Okay? I can have as many children, you know, Israelite men having many children as they want. Okay? Many wives as they can sustain. And everyone is in unity, man. Okay? Feminism doesn't exist anymore because of what these men, you know, were doing. Okay? In their grace period, man. That's going to be the thing that's going to be highly esteemed, man. Okay? I know goddamn NBA young boy. Okay? The the, the, the vain, all right, uh, uh, base things of this society that's glorified. Nah, man. That ain't going to transfer. Okay? It's, um, matter of fact, let's go from there. Let's get this in, um, so rock 16 and 13. Because everything we see Esau doing, okay, Esau not gonna skate off into the sunset with his, uh, his agenda, with his enterprise. All right, his, his global agenda, his one world agenda. Everybody see him, you know, he just, you know, has full control of everything on his digital grid. Nah, man, he's, uh, he's not going to do that. Okay, Sirach 16 and 13 says, The sinner shall not escape with his spoils, and the patience of the godly shall not be frustrated, man. So the sinner, which is Esau Edom, is not going to escape with his spoils. Because right now he has spoiled the earth. You know, in his mind, he's going to uh, be the, the, the phoenix that arise out of the ashes. You know, this third world's war. And everybody that survived, you know, having the, 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 the sea hip, 
okay? Um, programmable currencies and, you know, being able to read your thoughts and, you know, control your spirit, you know? Re remove the remembrance of, of a guy. Like, he thinks that he's going to uh, get away with his spoil. Nah, man. Okay? And then on the second part, this is, um, uh, I read this in GNT. This is on uh, Sarat 16 13 in GNT. It says, No sinner can escape with what he has stolen. The, the Lord will reward the, the patience of devout people, man. And that's the elect, man. Okay? So we're not going to be frustrated and waiting on Yahweh by Shem al -Shai. We're coming into a reward. All right? The wicked and everyone that's, you know, uh, joined to this man. Okay? The, the other heathens, okay, their place is going to be taken away out the earth, you know, and, and, and two thirds, okay, the Lord is finna strip them of everything, man, okay, and reward and bless, all right, hey, those devout believers, beginning with the first fruit, the 144,000, with everything, man, and rest of the one third men, women, and children, <laughs> okay. And this is the beginning. We're coming to the beginning of our eternal reward. And we're finna see this world lose everything, man. I'm talking about everything, man. Literal. <laughs> okay? So, Lord will. You know, this is edifying. I just want to bring that out. You know, once again, give all praise and glory unto Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashem, Kakadash. You know, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well. Being great examples of his younger brothers and peace and blessings, say, taste of the hope, like Shalom.